What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video here on Knots Week on the Nights of Horror. Today, we're going to talk about our most anticipated shows and scare zones for the event with two separate lists, one for each one. There are three shows. There are five scare zones. Let's start off with the shows and get them out of the way. And I feel like our list is going to be the same. So if it is, just jump in if it is, because it probably will. Number three for me is Conjurer's Dark Magic. Check. Yep. Uh, great magic show. Great comedy show. Um, but uh, I feel like some of it's repetitive at points. So um, it's one of those shows where you can go and kind of relax and sit down and have a good laugh, honestly. If you're having a, a not a good night if the game plan didn't work for you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the Conjury is, is a cool maze. I mean, <laughs> I mean a cool show. Um, but it's definitely not one of those shows where I'm like, I have to see this. Yeah. If I catch it great like like tony said maybe it's a little bit of a warm evening go in there get some air conditioning get some chill sitting yep. uh bird cage theater that's cool uh, and especially like if you got like the little ones maybe maybe you got someone that's about 12 13 um and they they need a quick little break from from all the madness of uh scary from it's a good place to go yep tuck away for like 20 30 minutes and uh then come back in the madness. Number two, I'm thinking uh, Carnival du Grotesque. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I believe that's the show that's on the Calico stage, on right the outside stage. of Carnival. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, a little, little bit of a nice, uh, dope. Uh, kind of like it's think of Mesmer, but you're actually seeing a show of it now. Um, you're gonna have a lot of talented people on stage uh, displaying what they can do. Uh, so it's a lot of fun to go check that out. It's, it's all outdoor experience right outside of Carnival. Um, there's some benches to sit on, uh, or usually it's standing. Uh, there's, I think there's probably both. So you can sit or stand and watch the show it's right there on the on the uh, the Ghost Town Calico stage. Uh, so go enjoy that. Definitely a lot of fun. Yeah, I agree. It's a it's a cool show. Um, it's a good thing to do, especially if you're walking through. Maybe stop five ten minutes, enjoy of the music, enjoy the show, and then keep on your uh, merry way. Yep. Number one, the show that Sammy and I are excited for every single year since it came in 2019. Pup it up, Pup it uncensored. Up. Uh, funny show. If you love improv, uh, you'll love this. And to make it even funnier, they do improv with puppets. Um, there's uh, some audience participation throughout the entire show, and they even call an audience member up to uh, do uh, puppetry with the talent so it's a lot of fun it's cool um if anything anybody knows anything about improv a good show to watch to kind of get an idea of what they're going to be doing is whose line is it anyway um so they'll do a lot of similar games and they have their own games that they play and they do it with puppets and it's it's part of the what is it the jim henson company correct um, and they are known for puppeteering throughout uh the start of a film pretty much so uh always a great time sammy and i like to go cool off get a good laugh one of our favorite shows and from us both doing improv in the past, it's something we can relate to. Correct. So, yeah, I mean, I think I pretty much said everything about it, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a cool show. Um, definitely something that we try to make time for every time we go. Um, so it's a, it's a good opportunity to step away for 30, 40 minutes, get some nice air conditioning. Yep. Um, enjoy, get some good laughs. Yep. And uh, have a have a grand old time at the, the old Nazi scary farm. Now, let's talk about them scare zones because these scare zones are all unique for their own ways. I want to start off with number five. Number five. Forsaken, Forsaken Lake. Lake. Yep. Um, again, aesthetic wise, it is beautiful. Uh, and, and it look the costuming is amazing. The scares are awesome. Um, I just my only thing with it is I wish they can kind of expand it a little bit more. And I know they try to keep it around that lake uh, where Silver Bullet's at. But if they could kind of like if they were to able to expand it a little bit more, I think they'd have more room to do more things, um, and that can bring out even more potential uh, for how talented this cast is. You know, there's already a talented cast, but even bringing more people on that zone to make it even add more talent to it to make it even better than it already is. I mean. I would love to see it, but uh, it's still a wonderful scare zone. I, I look forward to going through it every year. I love the color scheme. I love the costuming. The scares are on point. They even have a little show that they do, uh, I think, every at the top of every hour or something like that, or like three times a night, depending on your map will have the schedule for that. So, Yeah, it's a it's a really cool area. Like I love all of the scare zones, just being fully honest. But uh, Forsaken Lake, um, unfortunately, it's one of those – 
scary sounds like you, you can miss if, if you're not looking for it, which kind of sucks. Um, yeah. And I definitely think that uh, when Knotts is planning out there and actor placement, sometimes they just forget to put as many people that you need in Forsaken Lake. Yep. Uh, the the people that do uh, show up there are fantastic. The great scares. Like like Tony said, the costuming is cool. The theme is cool. We just wish it was a little bit bigger of an area. Yep. Um, so that you know, it's just it, it's it's cool. The procession is really cool every night when they when they do that, the little dance and all that fun stuff. Um, so I we enjoy it, but it's just not a not 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 top of the list, unfortunately. Number four, I'm gonna go the hollow. Wow, look at that. Number four matching up. Number four with the hollow. Now, the hollow is such a great zone. Um, we have a lot of great friends that work in there and, and continue to impress us every single year with what they can do with sliding. And every slider that we've talked to said that ground is the best ground to slide on. So we'll take their word for it. Um, and it's just we always get good footage in there. And um, it's, a, it's a fun time. I, I love the color scheme in that one, too. It's got more of that Halloween feel. And it's going for that witch vibe, and it's got that creepy, omin- ominous music in the background. So I'm excited to see what they what they pull off this year. You know, we have a lot of people um, that we know that are, are are looking to return there this year. So I'm excited to see who who returns and and what new people they get on the street. Yeah, definitely. the The hollow does got a lot of shenanigans going on. It's a good time. Um, this is just another one of those uh, zones that, unfortunately, like if you're not making an active effort to go to it. You, you can miss it uh, yeah. just because uh, I don't know how many people are, are going their way on over to Camp Snoopy and into Pumpkin Eater. So, And even if you do get out of Pumpkin Eater, you're only getting half of the zone. Um, and, and a lot of that back half is where a lot of cool things are happening. I love the show um, that happens there. Um, and, and then the witch hunters are cool. The witches. It's a, it's a really cool fun and uh, fun and spooky time. Yeah. Very fun. Number three. Goring 20s. Wow, did you steal my list? Probably. Uh, Goring 20s, uh, we didn't get to see much of last year, but uh, we did get to see a fair amount, and uh, I was very impressed with how they they transformed uh, this area into memory lane. And they're doing further with this new pizza parlor that they're making that kind of looks in that set tone. So with that new pizza parlor there, I think it's going to really – you know, cap off the the scare zone this year. Um, I know a lot of people are returning to that one, uh, and I'm excited to see what new people uh, go to that uh, area, and I'm excited to see how they continue this story of this, like, cursed elixir and stuff like that. Um, you got the speakeasy. You can't go wrong with that. Just make sure you find it, you know, you find a scare actor to try to get the password because there is a password for the speakeasy, and you definitely want to go see that. Trust me. You definitely want to go see that. So. Uh, secret bar. Secret bar. I mean, they, they did it better than Dark Harbor. 13, 13. There's actually 13 secret bars inside of Memory Lane. Yeah, you gotta find if them. you can find all of them, like, c- congratulations. More, more you got to talk. You got to interact with a lot of people, though, but yeah, you just do, don't you be do rude or don't be anything. Just talk to them like you're in a character, okay? You're trying to get the pass for the speakeasy, and then you want to try to find out, so. Yeah, just let them know that the Knights of Horse sent you. And that Maybe 13. don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just kidding. But let them know there's 13 secret bars. Let them know exploring attractions sent you, um, and we'll we'll be able to reimburse you with that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, number two, Ghost Town. Wow, you stole my list. Wow. Okay. Uh, I think because we've just uh, we both loved what we saw last year with these zones, and we knew how to rank them. Uh, Ghost Town is a fan favorite. Fog Alley can't beat it. The bench is is something Goated. that holds a special Goated. place to our hearts. So we always go visit it, no matter what. Every night that we go to the event, we always go visit it at least once. Um, but you have so much great monsters on that zone. Uh, the fog is just iconic. And to hear those screams and that score in the background, it's just it gives me goosebumps. And it gives me memories of, of good times we had sitting on, in Kmart. So. Yeah, I, I love Ghost Town Streets a lot. Um, a lot of fun times, a lot of great scares. Whether you're uh, pe- picked up in that bench in Kmart, picked up in that bench in Candyland, maybe a, a bench on over in Fog Alley. There's a lot yeah. of good times there. A lot of benches. Um, yeah, and there's just a lot of talented, talented individuals there. I know a couple people are making their switch on over that away that uh, we uh, we know personally. So mm-hmm. excited to see what kind of work they can uh, do uh, there. Excited. And 
Yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is one of the best zones in general across all theme parks, um, all theme parks, and uh, it's a good time. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. But I think the 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 number one on our most anticipated list because everything has been the same for this video thus far, and they rightfully deserve to call themselves the 2021 scare zone of the year at not scary farm carnival uh carnival was a fun time last year i think i was in that zone more than ghost town and i that that was extremely not weird for me but like it felt different uh in a good way um to see a lot of a, a lot of my friends our friends that work there um was really cool to see and meet new people was really cool um booster looking at you midsummer scream talking to you buddy um but there's a lot of great talent in there and i and i hear there's even more great talent joining that family this year and i'm excited to see what they do who that is don't know for sure but i'm hearing a lot of hearsay here well we'll only i guess we'll find out opening night right um yeah. but very excited to go back to carnival i mean i love sitting on the planners there was a bench right there um and they had my favorite drink at coasters which was the jack and coke slushy so bomb um, so that's what really kept me there most nights, but, uh, yeah. And Sammy, I know you have your experiences with it too. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, carnival is just such a great time. Um, and it's a zone that we didn't spend a lot of time in, in 2019. Um, but it's a zone that we did spend more time in, in 2021. Uh, a lot of just fun shenanigans going on. Um, if you know, Tony and I, we're, we are a sucker for the shenanigans. Yep. Um, don't get me wrong. We like people being scared. Um, but if you can just mess with people and make us laugh, we're going to have a great time. I mean, and for those who know, right, go back to Haunted Hayride. Go back to Haunted Hayride. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what Carnival does. It just has a great time. Like, don't get me wrong. They are still an absolutely terrifying scare zone. Yeah. Um, but they definitely play into that idea. If I can't scare you, I will entertain you. And they definitely do entertain me. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I've ever spent time in that zone where I was not entertained by something. Um. And the fact that a lot of them are very loose-lipped and uh, can tell you things, so I have a good time just watching them talk trash to the guests as well as myself. So in a good way, in, a, in an appropriate uh, way, where oh they, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, of course, where they're not like saying anything bad or anything, where they're going to where the boundaries they can go. Yeah, they're not crossing any boundaries. No boundaries way. crossed. No boundaries crossed. They they know the line, but they it's still always a good time to see what they come up with. I mean, I've seen some very interesting things and. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see more this year, especially with uh, a lot of new talent joining. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But that is our most anticipated scare zones and shows for Not Scary Farm 2022. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for our finale of our most anticipated mazes. You're not going to want to miss out on that. But until then, I'm Anthony. I'm Sam. And we'll see you in the fog. <laughs>